Well, in life, there's nothing worse than setbacks. Then having everything go great, having a lot of money, being in a great relationship, having success at your fingertips. But then just like that, it drops, it slips away and you have a setback in life. And you ask yourself, how do I get back on my feet? How long will it take? Well, to get back on your feet in life, it requires you to let go of the failure. It requires you, as hard as it is, to stop counting the money you once had, to stop fantasizing about the relationship you were once in. You have to let go of yesterday. You have to just put it behind you. Because even if you had everything perfect, if you were on top of the world, it isn't so anymore. And as painful as that is, the longer you hold on to the past, the longer you hold on to the height of your success, the worse and the harder it is to get back on your feet. Getting back on your feet is letting go. Getting back on your feet is saying, I'm going to fo I'm gonna focus forward, not behind. Life has to be lived forward. And there's going to be many setbacks in life. Even people that are very successful and that get back up and that persevere. Resiliency uh, is a quality of success. Doesn't mean you're guaranteed to be a millionaire or guaranteed to do great. But Journey with Jordan said that about me yesterday. And I thought that was a great compliment. I appreciated that. Thought about today. He said, Sam, you're resilient. Resiliency is a blessing because you're going to feel pain in life. You're going to lose money. You're going to lose relationships. You're going to lose things and you're going to feel like I had it all. How do I get it back? How do I get back on my feet? You got to let go. Free to be me. Good to see you, brother. I know you went through a nasty divorce, but you got to go forward and you will go forward because you're a smart, positive person. 2020 gave me the jewel emoji. Well, damn it. Every time I listen to uh, Nas Lost Tapes Volume 2, I, I feel like I'm, I'm about to spit some jewels. And what I could tell you, look, there, and there's no timetable. You may not ever make as much money as you once had. You may not ever date a person that looked that good, that was your dream person. Y you don't. You know, there's no guarantee that you're going to reach the height of your success again. That a setback, you know, will, you know, sometimes you will. Sometimes you'll go even further. But, you know, success is going from failure to failure without, without loss of enthusiasm. And even your failures will push you forward if you put one foot in in front of the other. How do you get back on your feet? Let go and keep moving. Whether you have a good day or bad day, whether you're doing great in life or worse in life, every day requires a foundation of self-care. That means wake up, you do the laundry, you do your workout, you eat healthy, you, you stay productive, you do something that's fun, you, you spend time around positive people. And that'll always guide your life. You know, you don't know what to do, a car to buy, what house to buy, what to do. Well, look, there's no one answer. Live below your means. That'll guide your life. You know, many times in life we want the answer. And I understand that. And sometimes we want people to make decisions for us because it's painful and hard to make a decision. But it's not the way it is. We have to make our own decisions as adults. And to get back on your feet, let self-care, let living below your means guide you. Let movement guide you. If you don't have any great career, just do something. Uh, that's what I did when I delivered pizzas or when I did DoorDash or when I do whatever. I, I always like to be doing something productive. Because if you don't know what the next billion dollar plan is, do something productive that's going to give you an income, even if it isn't a lot. But get rid of the online survey fantasy. Get rid of the I'm going to get something for nothing fantasy. Not the case. You're going to have to do something. I'm not saying you should always do something you hate. You should try to position your life to do more things you love, but start now and refine it as you go because you feel better about yourself when you have something coming in, when you're doing stuff with your life. And then as you do more stuff with your life, then you, you go back to the point where you have more options and more decisions because that's what it is to face a setback. That's what it is to get knocked on your ass is you've lost options. You've lost choices. And you want to get back on your feet. You want to get back where you have power, you have control, and you have a lot of options. You have choices. And minimalism is part of that for me. 
but also minimalism and work. A lot of people like the minimalism part and then they forget about work. Bob Wells telling you to, to you know, don't worry about work. Then he tells you to get be able to save nothing, man. You know, what's your HSA going to do? I know you're making 10 grand a month now in the tube. Now, Bob Wells is a good guy, but you know, I come on, guys. How do you get back on your feet? You got to move, man. You got to move. If you're seriously disabled, if you're seriously elderly, look, do as best you can. Life's about doing as best you can with what you have. You use the resources that you have. If you have someone that's going to give you an opportunity at a job, whether it's construction or working with your parents or whatever, look, you may not want to do it. But guess what, guys? To get back on your feet, do what you got to do. I often say, look, I'd rather live in my car than live with a, uh, a relative. But look, if you're not living in the car person and you got to get back on your feet and you got living with your parents or being destitute, do what you have to do to get back on your feet. Okay? Do what you got to do. Don't complain. Stay positive. Get the hell away from the people that almost destroyed your life. And don't blame them. Look at yourself. Setbacks are hard, man. I remember my mom one time, and I may go back to Jersey soon. I remember my mom one time, she bought me a watermelon. We were out, we were walking around. It was hot, it was a summer day. She said, Sam, I bought you a watermelon. I was waiting for you to come back. And she had it all ready for me. She handed it to me. But it was like, it was like an NFL handoff. I dropped it, I, I fumbled it. And the watermelon smashed. She had like the watermelon cut up. It was all nice. And it was like in a half like moon watermelon. And she was like, here's him. And a mother ex or a mother or woman expressed their love through food. That's why many times if you grow up with an overweight mother and then you, you get your health together and you start eating healthy and your mother goes to feed you unhealthy food, it's almost like a, a sign of rejection if you don't want to eat it anymore. And that's how me and my mom got into big fights. Because she would be cooking a lot of unhealthy stuff. I said, Ma, I don't eat that anymore. And she goes, what do you mean? You love this as a kid. And then it would be a fight because a mother expresses her love through food, or some women do. But when you got to get your health together, guys, be willing to sever all ties. And eventually, if your mother or your father or whoever, if they really love you, they'll give you the freedom to go ahead and be, live your best life. If they don't, it's a sad reality. But guys, you ain't going to do anyone's favor by uh, being a diabetic just because you want to keep your mother happy. Or, you know, being an asshole just because you want to keep your father happy. Look, guys, you're an adult now, okay? How do you get back on your feet? You got, you got to take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, take care of yourself. But I was saying that my mama bought me this watermelon and it dropped. And I look, I saw the look in her eyes. It was like, it's like, it's crushing. Just like when I dropped my phone. I dropped my phone the other day. It was crushing. It crushes your soul to have something, to have success, to have something perfect. I had the perfect phone. There was no cracks and I dropped it. And all of a sudden my life was shattered. Your life isn't shattered until you drop your phone and there's a crack all on the front. You date a Hello Kitty girl, you got the world by the balls. And then all of a sudden it's a total disaster. You're making a lot of money. You're making money stocks. So all that, all of a sudden a trade war, <laughs> and now all of a sudden one week later, you're down big time. Can life change? Life can change quick, guys. And all of a sudden you're on top of the world, now you're in a major setback, and now you want to know how to get back on your feet. Well, wake up, brush your teeth, floss, shower, work out, stay around positive people, and keep doing what you need to do. That's it, guys. There's no online survey that's going to get you back on your feet. Guess what, guys? You can't get back on your feet. By sitting on your ass. And that's what that's what surveys are. You got to go out there. One foot in front of the other, guys. And that's the message tonight. As I take a hydration break. Because I cleaned my Jeep Renegade out tonight. Uh, I downsized. I threw out a lot of stuff. Out of three duffel bags. I said, I got to organize and clean. Because I had some bugs in here. And they still probably may be in here a little bit. I defumigate too. I got three bags, guys. This is the pro tip. One bag is for clean clothes, one bag's for dirty clothes, and one bag is for my personal self-care, which means like uh, lotions, uh, you know, uh, deodorants, things like that. Milano, everyone, click that thumbs up button. Shout out to Miami. I saw Emilio's video when he did an uh, a interview with the guy living on Volkswagen trading stocks. He probably ain't trading stocks anymore because I clicked on his website and ain't even around anymore. 
He was full time and in his beautiful. For a 19 year old RV, that thing was beautiful. You, are, you, were, you were in the video, Milano. You were looking around that Volkswagen. You said, oh, this is beautiful. Are those LED lights? And you know, he was just like, yeah, they are, this and this and that. But guess what, guys? Website shut down. So two years ago, Milano interviewed this guy. Milano's friend, Emilio, interviewed this guy who was down in Miami in the winter. He had this beautiful Class C Plus RV. He was on top of the world. He was uh, just started full-time in RV, and he was trading stocks. He had a website. Follow me. Now his website shut down. He's probably broke, destitute. Guys, things can change quick. You get hit. You get knocked on your ass. And you got to say, how do I get back on my feet? Well, hey, guys, keep pushing forward. Keep movement in your life. Idleness is deadly. And what I can tell you is this, guys. Let me roll down my windows because it smells like a uh, raid. <laughs> damn, I pray that I don't see any bugs tonight or I'm trading in this damn uh, Jeep tomorrow. I'm going to be pulling up in a Class B+. Plus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There's a hot girl. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Jesus. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. Leave a comment. Let's see what you guys got to say. Let me click on my thing. Let me click on my thing. Emilio, you know what video I was talking about? I saw you. Uh, not Emilio, I mean Milano. But Emilio did the video. I saw it. I was watching it today. Emilio's got to do more videos. Man, you could be making money off that. So why don't people make money off things they're good at? They just stop doing it. Guys, keep doing it. Keep showing up. That's how you, Emilio will probably have just as many subscribers as I have. I crossed over to 9,000 more today. Now, it goes up and goes down, so it may go back down, but I'm very thankful for that. Let's go to top of live comments. 2020 gave me the diamond, a.k.a. the gem emoji. Thank you very much. Free to be me. You know I needed to hear this, brother. Peace, Sam. Well, hey, man. I was talking to a friend. It sparked on my mind. It's a real-life thing. Love to you, brother. Jordan with Jordan. Two thumbs up. Jeremy with Jordan, thank you for that compliment yesterday. You called me resilient. Did I appreciate that? Yeah, I thought about it today. Thank you, man. 2020, Diamond, I got you. Thank you. Liz, stay awesome, Sam. Well, Liz, you stay awesome, too. I love you. I appreciate you. Never let anyone put baby in the corner, okay? Now, look, guys, truth be told, Patrick Swayze died of cancer. He was once a young, strapping guy in the star of Dirty Dancing, and every old woman who's now very much overweight, but in the 80s, she looked at Patrick Swayze, she was like, I got a shot, I love this guy. But he died slowly and nasty of cancer, okay? Even though he was on top of the world. He, guys, life can buckle you up, doesn't matter who you are, Patrick Swayze, or, you know, whoever. So guys, one day at a time, enjoy your life now, responsibly. Guys, all you have is a series of days. So enjoy each day. That's how you get back on your feet, not waiting for the perfect day. Guys, life never gets perfect. And so you're going to have some great days, some bad days, some great years, some bad years. But just as best you can, enjoy each day. Good job. 2020. Beauty through pressure. Well, guys, I don't want too much pressure. I want my life to be easier. So I consciously made decisions through downsizing, minimalism, working, saving. I made some mistakes. And sometimes I say, Sam, I didn't do all this downsizing to start to lose money. So I got to be careful sometimes how much risk I take. But what I can tell you is this. You have to consciously put your hand on the steering wheel of your life. Okay? And you have to consciously put your foot on the pedal. Okay, No one is just going to drive your car or put gas in your car. You got to do it, guys. Uh, make a mental note. Good job. Jeremy Jordan, online survey. Yeah, it's a total disaster. It's a survey fantasy. That's what it is. Guys, I'm looking at milk fantasy. Some of you guys looking at survey fantasy. Guys, they're not paying you that much. They're not paying you anything. You work harder trying to get over than if you would just doing whatever you got to do. Guys, I saw people working at Walmart today. They weren't doing much, but they were getting paid because they showed up. Okay? Online survey. Guys. You could do a million online surveys. You ain't going to make as much as you would make in 40, 40 hours working at Walmart. So what I can tell you is, man, do what you got to do. I look, I want life to be easier. Liz, stay positive. Good job. Jeremy Jordan. That's terrible about your phone. It's a total disaster. I do it once a year, but every year I get a new phone. That's why I do minimalism, to buy things that are most important to me. My phone's one of the most important things. At least you can save the receipt for a text drive. Yep, I'm going to write off everything, guys. Why? Hey, because it's a business, guys. So what I can tell you is this. Same thing you do guys do okay and for the people that don't do anything for the people who do online surveys they don't pay taxes because guess what guys when you live in poverty you don't pay taxes okay 
So what I can tell you is when you have a business, you pay taxes. Okay. But you don't want to do things just for a tax write-off. You want to make a profit. Okay. So you got to find a balance. But you got to do stuff. All right, let's take a puzzle. 2020, stay real. Thank you. Milano, Sammy, we downsized for good. Well, damn it, Milano, I just downsized more today. I cleaned this Jeep out. I threw some clothes out. I threw my 20-degree Fahrenheit or below sleeping bag out because I don't plan on ever being in Jersey uh, when it's that cold. But if I am, guess what, guys? Walmart's always there, okay? So if you're scared to throw out something, guess what, guys? Walmart's always there. The more stuff you keep, the more bugs, the more cleaning, the more aggravation. I like living light. I say to myself, so if I get to class B, I'm going to have a lot of drawers with nothing in them. I'm going to have a lot of cabinets with nothing in them. Guys, never. I'm going to do a video about this. Never eat food car. When you eat food in your car, you increase your bugs uh, about ten, uh, about 75% chance of getting bugs. That's why if I got class B, I ain't even going to use the stovetop. I said, damn, Sam, I ain't going to use half of the class B. Why are you getting it? So I may not get it. I wouldn't use the uh, uh, bathroom. I wouldn't use the shower. I wouldn't use the stovetop. I said, damn. $60,000, I'm only using $10,000 worth of stuff. I got to think about that, guys. So, make a mental note. Jerry Wood Jordan, did you downsize your boogie board? Yep, it's gone. Look, no boogie board, guys. It's gone, man. That's how quick I changed my mind, guys. If, I, if I'm done with something, I'm done, okay? Once I break up with you guys, I'm over it, all right? So, yeah, I did. <laughs> There's a, but guess what, guys? If all of a sudden I'm ready to boogie board... There's always a Walmart. They're 10, 20 dollars, guys. If you downsize and you throw something out and you want it again, guess what, guys? There's always another one. I like a disposable life. You could buy a 10, 20 dollar boogie board, and I got my uh, work out of it. But it was starting to get old anyway. It was cracking and stuff like that. I mean, how long does a 20 dollar uh, boogie board last? So guess what, guys? If I get in the mood, I'll spend another 20 dollars. It's a tax write off, okay? I'll do a video of me boogie boarding. Good job. Wow, oh, Sammy, that guy was a dreamer with the stock market. Yeah. Ended up in a nightmare because his website was shut down. But I don't wish that on anyone because I lost more money in stocks than anything else. So I can't judge. Liz. Oh, Tiro, Semi. Donde estas el baño? Donde estas el baño? I love you. Milano. Milo was lazy. Well, I didn't want to say it, but I kind of noticed after he stopped making videos. <laughs> like me. Well, I love you. That's all right. <laughs> Ralph. Constantly downside. Good job. Thumbs up, Sam. Thank you. You're here with Jordan. Or Steve Jobs. Also died of cancer at the height of his success. Good job, brother. You get it. Milano, I put me a dot. I love you, Milano. I love you, Emilio. Stone Ape. Smoke that content. Love and respect to you also, brother. Damn it. I love you, brother. You stay positive. Let me turn my fan on and tell you a magical story. I remember being down in Miami Beach when I went there for a bachelor party. And I was in, it was almost like a strip club, but not an official strip club. And I remember telling the dancers, I, I was drunk. I don't know what else. I said, can you tell me a bedtime story? She looked at me damn crazy as hell. <laughs> she said, if you don't get your drunk ass out of here, I ain't telling you no bedtime. And she was disgusted. Guys, never ask a girl to tell you a bedtime story. It's a total disaster. Okay. I, I made a mistake on that one. I'll take the hit. Uh, Milano says, Sammy, the Colombian can be boogie boarding. Yeah, she's a tax write off too, guys. But what I can tell you is this. Never ask the Colombian girl to ask to tell you a bedtime story because it's going to end in a total disaster, guys. Jeremy Jordan, the Colombian girls buy you things? Nope. I uh, thought it was the other way around. You're damn right. But Milano's got game, guys. Milano's a suave guy. So is Emilio. Uh, now, but they're running a generator. They're spending about 10 miles a day in gas. Milano, I still think you should get that 1,000 trails pass, man. You guys have full hookups for uh, $700 a year. There's parks down by Miami. There's parks in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale. There's a couple down in the Keys. Brother, I want you guys to get it. If you, if you get the 1,000 trails passed by August 26th, it's only 500 for the 1,000 trails, 200 uh, for the Encore Resorts. $700, man. You just got basically unlimited camping for the entire year other than seven days out of the month. Man, it's worth it, man. All the money you guys are spending in generator fuel, I would get that a mini. <gasps> Chocolate chip mint. Hello, Sam. How you doing? Well, damn it, chocolate chip, man. I'm doing better now that you're here. Love to you. Did you cook rice today? I'm very proud of you with that rice video. You're making more videos than Emilio. Emilio, what happened, man? Emilio, you were hot on YouTube, man. Everybody wanted you. I still watch your old videos. Then all of a sudden, man, just, I don't know what happened to Emilio. But I love Emilio, man. Chocolate chip, man. 
I appreciate everyone clicking that thumbs up button and sharing the video. Thank you. Dude, seems like some people with the RV spec uh, specifically enjoy running loud generators. Well, hey, guys, that's part of that uh, off-the-grid life. Uh, do I want to run a generator? No. The Corrado Axion actually has an underhood generator, meaning it's just a second alternator. So when you start your car, it charges up your lithium batteries. That's what I like. I don't want a separate generator that I got to change the oil, that I got to do more maintenance on. Uh, but the bottom line is if that alternator, that second alternator, that under the hood generator in the Corrado Axion goes, to get that service probably going to be a pain in the ass. And what am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to go down to Miami. Uh, Milano's going to tell me to go park it over there and the thing. Him and Emilio are going to come work on it. It's going to be a disaster. I don't know, guys. Let's stay positive. Uh, all right. We got the all live comments. We banged it out tonight. My car smells like rain. But hey, guys, we got to do what we got to do to clean this thing up. Okay. We got to throw out everything and start over. Okay. How do you get back on your feet? Sometimes you got to hey, throw out everything, guys. Start over. Okay. But be slow to acquire and quick to clean. Okay. Slow to acquire, quick to clean. So what I could tell you is this, guys, never eat in your car, never date a girl with Hello Kitty, never stop making videos, never stop showing up until you have a full, fully insured income, whether it's Social Security, pension, whatever. Milano, Sammy, our generators, a Honda, are very silent. That's not what I saw in my, Emilio's video. Emilio's video, that generator was loud as hell, man. Je Emilio was like... He was running the air conditioning, the portable air conditioning inside. I guess his rooftop one went bad, and I would do that too. And then, I, I, then he opened up the door, and that generator was loud as hell. I said, "Oh shit, that's loud, man! Two dollars a day? Well, two dollars. Uh, Journey with Jordan, you're a smart guy. Do the math. What's two times three hundred sixty-five? Real quick, I want to see the math on this, because I guarantee you it's more than seven hundred dollars. Or it's got to be Amelia uh, Milano." You could have full utility hookups for less than what you're paying right now. And you could be in a safe gated community with other hot MILFs that are looking for a guy to come fix their RV, man. You can make money on the side, man. And you could have a pool to go. Jerry with Jordan says $730. Milano, you're spending more in fuel than you would if you had a thousand trails camp, uh, camping pass, man. Milano, he was close to the generator with the mic. Nah, hell no, that shit was loud, man. That was loud. I heard it. I was dreaming about that, man. That was loud. Milano, if you get a pass and uh, Emilio gets a pass, you guys, you don't even have to leave for seven days. You you reserve the campground for 14 days. Then Emilio reserves it for 14 days with his pass. And then you don't even have to uh, skip seven days. Milano, I love you, brother. I just saved you $30, man. I'm better than Geico. I just saved you $30 per year, at least. And I gave you full utility hookups. Uh, MTG Enthusiast. If living in your car, should I tint my, my windows or get reflectors and black them out for privacy while sleeping? I would keep whatever you had. My my back windows were already tinted. My front weren't. Because even if you have tints, you have to buy window covers. Just get the flexible window covers for your side and your back at Walmart and get the front sun visor for the front. Because even with uh, limo tint windows, you have to get window covers to totally black out your car. Because at night, the street lights or whatever lights, you're not going to have privacy. Even if you're on a campground and it's dark, how are you going to masturbate with no window covers on, man? So if you're an enthusiast, if you're an enthusiast and you're all pumped up one night, you're at the campground, you got the earbuds in, you got the porn on extra loud, you find a nice thumbnail that looked like some girl you was seeing in Starbucks. Now you're all wound up. Now, some Milano's camping next to you because Milano and Emilio got the thousand trails pass. You're in a campground whacking off with an enthusiasm. So Milano come to knock on your door. He asks if you got any sugar for his Cuban coffee. And you're sitting there with your Johnson now masturbating all over the place. Why? Because you didn't have window covers. Brother, always you need window covers, man. Your tents don't matter. All right, guys, let's stay positive. Uh, Jay, what doing? Sam? Next side hustle is going to be selling thousand trails pass. Well, guys, if I get the thousand trails pass, I'm going to put I'm going to put an affiliate link. Guys, if you shop anything on Amazon, uh, MTG enthusiasts, if you're going to buy those window covers, buy them on Amazon. You use my link. It don't cost you any extra money. I just get a little bit on the side. If you buy anything on Amazon, whether they're Maxon uh, tampons, whether they're window covers, whether they're dildos or flashlights, guys, buy buy it using my Amazon link. It costs you no extra money. It costs you nothing. It's a win win. Guys, why wouldn't you help me out? All right, don't be stubborn. All right, let's take positive. All right, everyone's laughing. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's shopping on Amazon. Everyone's doing everything. So what I could tell you is this, guys. 
How do you get back on your feet? One foot in front of the other. You gotta let go of the past. If you were a millionaire yesterday and now you're dead broke, masturbating in your car, guess what, guys? You make the most of it and you keep going forward, Milano. Sammy, we work in Miami. Area RV campgrounds are far away. Nope. Uh, look at the one in Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach is only like a half hour away from Miami, man. And there's one in, in uh, I don't know, uh, like South Miami. But the one in Pompano Beach, uh, the Thousand Trails, that's not too far from Miami. I don't know what part of Miami you're at, but it's not too far. Because if I was working out of Miami, I looked at that one. I think it's, it's, it's less than 45 minutes. Uh, now, But I don't know how, how close you have to be to certain streets. Because I know you're in like the delivery business. But Milano, do what's best for you. I just want to throw that out there. Because you already secured your bag. You're already getting $1,500 a month in Social Security, man. So you made a pretty good living for yourself, man. You don't have to work too hard. Uh, Jeremy Jordan, Milano, I thought you were fully retired. He working on the side. He got a, he's playing for that Colombian girl, man. Milano, I love you. I'm proud of you, brother. Uh, do whatever you want, though. If it, if it works best for you to not do the pass, I don't want you to do the pass. I want you to do what's best for you. I love you. I love Emilio. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, all right, guys. That's it. All right, I think we did as best we could. I appreciate everyone. Love to you. Peace to you. Stay positive. Um, and we keep going forward. Peace and love. Marion! Ah, oh, Marion Hart and Palm Tree. Marion, we love you. Cinnable Island in the house. Hey, Marion uh, was once a millionaire. And what I can tell you is you got to let go of the past. You put one foot in front of the other. Marion, you're still hot. And you're fully retired. You're doing good. You got no lack. You got no lack in life. You can do what you want. You're able to feed yourself. You got a roof. Everything's good. You're good. Don't even worry about the past. Let it go. You're doing great. Milano. Sammy, yeah, we know about the past. I love you, Milano. Milano, I love you. I love Emilio. You stay positive, guys. All right, I love you.